UFC 278 is on deck and we have a couple of different picks and AJ before we even talk about the and still that we have with Kamar Usman I have to mention um Luke Rockhold hasn't fought since 2019 and hasn't won since like 2017 but you picked my man to upset Paolo Costa Boricinha the eraser the little eraser brother talk to me my man well, give me a very quick one to two sentence summary before we actually jump into the breakdown of uh why you're liking Luke Rockhold's chances this week Man, the mindset of Luke Rockhold, man. And I know before when he got knocked out by left hook Larry, he was always talking about conceive, believe, achieve. But he said something different this time. And he said, when there's a man out there to take my soul, I'm not going to let him. And I'm taking his. And that's what sealed the deal for me. You want to be on. He's been hanging out with uh, Cheeto. And you know Cheeto's a big Goggins guy. So the second I heard a Goggins quote come out of Luke, Luke Rockhold's mouth, I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going with him. And in fact, on the Discord, I sent like three messages back and forth forth to Derek I was like I might change my mind because originally I picked Paulo Costa I was listening to some interviews I was seeing how uh Luke Rockhold was approaching the situation and it wasn't that soft believe achieve conceive whatever bullshit he was talking about this was a man that was pissed and felt like somebody is discrediting him and hurting his ego I'm all here for it man that's when it literally what did it I know it's supposed to be one to two sentences but David Goggins came out brother and that's what made me choose Rockhold listen bro I watched the Luke Rockhold interview uh courtesy of MMA Junkie I believe and you know what? I was all like, I think I understand why AJ is getting behind my man Luke Rockhold. It's hard not to because the man is sitting there like somebody pissed in his Cheerios. The man is mad. He's on one. And he's like, bro, I don't even want to be here. I want to get in and out, get my money, get the fuck out. Fuck this promotion. Fuck Paulo Costa. Fuck all these guys. I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to whoop some ass. Um, listen, he came in ready to go. He even called out the full send reporter, bro. And he was all like, listen, man, you gave Cheeto Vera a Mexican luchador mask he's from Ecuador. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Like, you, like he was going crazy so i was just like all right man right on but aj it's been many years since my man has won a fight man the last fight that he won was against who and i you know i'm gonna pull it up for good measure right now when you look at luke rockhold you look at his record last one was against david branch it was a knockout win in 2017 it has been five years since the man has tasted victory and uh, i'm just gonna say in the sport of mixed martial arts it's not quite as easy as just hopping back on. You know, Dominic Cruz said there's no such thing as ring rust, but my man isn't the, the freshest cat in the world no more. Even though he was looking he's looking sharp last week, right? What happened? Cheeto Vera got the job done when the new guy is coming to play. I just think that people... I'll save my take for later. I'll save my take for later. Let's get back into the recap, brother. All right, man. We're going and still. Kamaru Usman. Um, at this point, AJ, listen, I just think it's fair to say Kamaru Usman has done enough, right? He's done enough to solidify. Do not bet against this man. You know what I'm saying? Because we did it with Gilbert Burns. I did it with Gilbert Burns. I think you picked Usman on that one. I did it with Gilbert Burns. A lot of people were picking Masvidal, picking Colby. He's shown time and time again, I'm the guy. I already beat this dude seven years ago. He's got to come and he has to climb the mountain again. Yeah, a different fight, whatever. I beat him. So, and still, Kamaro Usman. We'll talk about it more in a second. The other contested pick that we have here, man, because all the other picks are the same. Um, we have a old versus new matchup here. However, the one difference here, AJ, obviously the veterans haven't been doing too, too hot. I just mentioned Dominic Cruz and I mentioned uh, Cheeto Vera. We have Jose Aldo and we have the machine, Marab Dabalashvili. We have one of the greatest featherweight champions of all time, right? Literally, of all time. Probably one of the greatest featherweight fighters of all time in Jose Aldo. And then you got this newcomer, Marab, who hasn't fought since UFC 266, man. It's been a long time since he fought. He got a big win over Marlon Moraes. But the problem that I have here, AJ, is that Jose Aldo is not like most conventional older UFC veterans. This dude dropped down away just having more success than ever and honestly man there's a good shot that uh Murad might not be able to take him down so i'm picking jose auto i'm going to talk about it more in a second but what was the catalyst behind saying and new Murad, you know what i mean what are you talking Man, the machine, man, he's going to come in, he's going to fight hard, he's going to do his thing, and I feel like he has a stronger game plan, not necessarily in facts of like X's and O's, just the fact that he's going to go in there and shoot for those hips, get the takedown, get the fight to the ground, or if you're the guy trying to always be on the bike, always trying to get going, keep the circle moving, a lot harder, and I think, I mean, this was another close one where I was back and forth a lot of the time, man. Yeah, Marab can get it done, but also Jose Aldo, he has a lot of tools in the tool belt to lean on to also prevent somebody from getting to his hips going to be an interesting fight nonetheless absolutely i will just have to say jose auto has been taken down three times like in his last like 10 fights so I'll, I'll just put that for what it's worth man and he won what i think he won uh 
I mean, two of those fights that he got taken down, he did lose. Marlon Moraes, I mean, I think we can argue Jose Aldo probably won that fight, but the Piotr Jan fight, yeah, lost that one. I don't know. We will talk about it more in just one second. Lastly, folks, I know you're probably surprised here because uh, Marcin Tybura versus Alexander Romanov, a very fun matchup, uh, got relegated to the prelims. And then we got Lucy Pujalova, former UFC veteran who at one point went like 0-5 in the UFC after like a five-fight losing streak after winning a couple of fights. She is going to be fighting, uh, fighting Wu Yanan or Yanan Wu, however you want to call it. It should be an interesting matchup. Interestingly enough, AJ, we have somebody who had fought in Octagon, fought in all these other promotions, you know, after the UFC. She's making her comeback, and we actually have her winning over Wu Yanan, somebody who's been in a lot of good fights, hasn't been winning, but we'll talk about it more in a second. Lastly, AJ, um, I'm I'm never wanting to call a fight a layup, but this is as much of a layup as you get. Maybe I'm going to be proven wrong. Maybe my parlay will be broken off of this, this one fight because I'm putting bad jujus in the air. But Tyson Pedro versus Harry Huntsucker does not, one, feel like a pay-per-view bout, and two, does not feel like... Like a very competitive bout. The reason why I think Pedro's like a minus 800 favorite, listen, man, we'll talk about it more in just one second. Folks, I'm going to put it up one last time for Kamaru Usman versus Leon Edwards, number two, UFC 278. This is your betting sheet. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a good look at it. You're either going to choose my picks or you're going to choose AJ's picks, but it doesn't really matter who you pick because uh, last time I checked, AJ, we're both over 63% accuracy on the year. Over 150 picks total. Come on, baby, let's get it. Drop it to your local sports book. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, and then I want you to at Bloody Water Podcast, and I want you to thank us for all of our hard work. I'm just joking. If you want to thank us, drop a like, subscribe, share the show with your friends. That's how you do it. All right, AJ.